What's good, y'all? This is the man, Capella Bray. You know what I'm saying? We outside in LA. Dash Radio. Make sure y'all download the app and all that. Get in tune. Get right. Yeah. All right, everybody. This is your boy, My Wand, here at Dash Radio with, man, Superstar now. If we would have done this a year ago, I would have said, like, rising artists. But now <laughs> we got Superstar Capella Gray in the house. How you doing, sure. man? Thank you for having me. We good. Man, no, thank you for shaking the world up one time. Well, we just getting started. Man, that's what's crazy is you really are just getting started. Right. But I got so much respect for you, my guy, for a, a multitude of reasons. But I'm going to start with the fact that you did it on your own. Like, mm. you really came out and put this record out. And make sure I'm saying it right. Gialis. Gialis, yes. Gialis, Gialis. Yes, sir. I put that like Irie in my yeah, voice. Gialis. Just, just add that Y, Gialis. So you put this record out on your own. You weren't yes, signed sir. yet, right? Not at all. Jesus, no marketing. Nah. No, like you didn't go pay nobody 20 bands. Mm, the nah, there wasn't no radio budget. There wasn't no hashtag, no extra viral dance. There wasn't no weird scandal. Y'all ain't hear my name or nothing. There was no drama, no nothing. Nah, just you did Good vibes. So mm -hmm. what was there a specific moment when you knew the record was taken off? Like one specific thing that might have happened? Or when did um, you know? I don't want to pinpoint it on one moment, but I just know I, when I saw this, when I started seeing people from different states that I've never been to in a different country that I've never been to start tagging me and stuff like that and their little videos and stuff. I know it was, you know what I'm saying? Did it it's blow cool. up internationally before it blew up here in the States? Or did nah, it that's the why time? it was so fire. It, it, it blew up in mean ass New York. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on. You know Shout what out saying? to the Bronx. Come right? on, big Bronx. Shout you know what I'm saying? Bronx. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, Uptown, got... where's Liddy at? Wait, what? Uptown, where it's lit at. Hey, there we go. Okay, okay. Shout out to Uptown. Of that, course. that makes me think of Uptown, baby. Uptown, <laughs> baby. Uptown. <laughs> Shout um out Yeah, shout out Peter Guns. Who was that? Peter Guns and Lord Tariq, right? Mm. So let's talk about your roots, though, because you definitely got some. Is it Jamaican? Yes, roots sir. Here, right? my, my whole family's from Jamaica, so. So growing up, did, was everyone having an accent? Like not you and your generation, but your parents? Yeah, I mean, yeah, my generation. From my mom to my grandmother, everybody in my family. That's you know, dope. Because I grew up here, so you know what I'm saying, uptown. But I'm just blessed to be in the, to have grown up in a household where I got the best of both worlds. You know what I'm saying? So it's big Bronx, but I get that Caribbean flavor. So that's yeah. the cheat code. And 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 you're able to do it in the music, mm -hmm. and it's not like not that it's wrong, but if I'm to come out and mm -hmm. do a song. I'm like, you know, speaking in a Jamaican accent or tongue. Mm -hmm. It might be out of taste, but like, it's in your roots. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? I get to embrace it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Embrace the cheat code. Trust me. Man, you definitely got a cheat code. And I got to, I, I do this thing, Capella, where I give every artist an album. Mm -hmm. I got an interesting one I want to give you. And I think you will remember this song. So I wanted to give you any Kamozi. I don't know if you remember. Uh, Here comes the hot step of course, murder. Bro, come on. The lyrical gangster. What you What do you know about? <laughs> Man, he's from New York. He's from New York with yes, the roots, sir. right? And the the reason I'm giving you this album is that was a dude from New York who made a record with such mm. an international sound. Yeah. And that record really dominated to the point where when I still hear and I hear na 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 na. Same with you now. Like, mm -hmm. you made a record that's so big. When I hear those slow down juvenile horns, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> it's about to fucking get wild. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you put the city on fire by yourself. So mm -hmm. I wanted to give you this. Nah, I appreciate you for real. No, nah, absolutely. And also, it's like a challenge because mm -hmm. now it's so, to me, it's so tough when an artist's first song really fucking like just bang. Mm -hmm. But there's artists who've dominated it. Kid Cudi, mm -hmm. Day and Night was his first song. He said Day and Night was the first song he ever released. And I was yeah, like, that's kind of crazy. Lil Nas X, as far as his first song, was mm -hmm. huge. Right, so right. I put you in that vein of, I'm excited to see where you take this now. Right, right, right. You know yeah, nah, I mean? we're just getting started. It's about to be a whole decade of good vibes. I, you know more what than saying? that, man. I yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just generation. taking a decade at a time. But of yep, course, yep, we, yep, yep. I'm here for the long run, for real. And so do you, are you, are, are you scared to try to, follow up the record i'd be hella yeah. nervous yeah man. nah nervous not not at all i come alive in the fourth quarter number one and then <laughs> hey, I, like I feel like when it comes to um I was, I was a songwriter and producer before all of this so my phone is loaded with I'm over 1200 songs in my phone just in the notes period like i really Jeez. i really do this for real so i'm i'm just excited that i have an opportunity to share the rest of my catalog with the world now now that we have we've been at the vibe now we got the spotlight mm. so i'm just ready to you know what i'm saying get started Absolutely. 
Yeah. Absolutely, man. And like you got wow, twelve hundred songs. So you Yeah, I'm I'm just I'm really just getting started. I'm telling oh, you. Man. This whole I'm coming like Lil Wayne, T Pain, that type of run where this mm-hmm. decade you're gonna hear me on everybody hook, everybody verse, everybody bridge, or 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 I either produce the beat or I mixed it or something. I just I love this music stuff so much. I just can't wait to just be a part of just pushing the culture forward. I'm trying Absolutely. to get all hands on it. No, absolutely. You, you, you're one of those artists, as you mentioned, like we're going to start seeing your name everywhere. Mm. But then there's going to be a lot of your work that we won't see your name because you're right. writing and you're producing. Like I see you getting into all types of bags. Yes, music. sir. And just meeting you, you got a dope personality, too. Oh, like you're going to do well you. behind the camera, man. Nah, I appreciate it. They're going to love you in Jamaica when you go. Like they're going to love you overseas. Come on. I can't wait to go out there. You know what I'm saying? Have going you gone to, back? Yeah. Or have you gone, I should say, since Not the yet. My first blood? time out there is going to be crazy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I know Toronto was showing a lot of love, too. Um, Spain, Mexico. Like we all over the place now. So I'm blessed because now I wasn't really no traveling ass dude. So you know what I'm saying? Now I get the opportunity to see the the world and absolutely and they're and ready for you. Too, facts. they we're are ready arms. for the playboy i should say the, the playboy is crazy yeah. Well, yeah, we're. <laughs> man so when you wrote this song mm-hmm. I, I i had saw you already discuss this in another interview like you you knew it was a vibe you knew it was great but you mm-hmm. didn't necessarily know that this was a song that was going to get you the record deal in your terms i was going to you know what i mean really turn yeah the world i mean i usually world. believe in most and i mean in all my music you know what i'm saying i usually leave the booth satisfied like wow this is a good piece of work that I just put together, but you can't really ever anticipate which song is going to catch or which song is going to fall on which ears it's going to push it forward or whatever. So I'm just, I'm glad that it was Gallus, you know what I'm saying? Especially because I produced it, wrote it, mixed it, did everything like Dolo on that one. So it, I feel like I was able to set tone with Gallus. Now people know what I could do a lot yeah. in one. I was able, I, a lot of people's favorite part of this song, even though it's an R&B song technically, a lot of people's favorite part of the song is the little three bars where I'm rapping, the fake yeah. like she asleep. Some people's favorite part of the song is the Caribbean part, the she and she and she. That's Some, my favorite part, it's, yeah. Everybody has is something for everybody in Gallus, and I feel like it's just set in tone and showing what this decade is going to be like. Yes, yeah, it's good it's vibes. really showcasing, man. What's so exciting as a, as a fan is you could take it in this now in so many different directions. Absolutely. You could do a whole song rapping, I wouldn't be surprised. You can do a whole song just on some Usher My Way shit. Mm-hmm. Be surprised. You come out with some nah, 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 do some mm-hmm. straight reggae kind of, you know, US vibes. But regardless, like, just this is the most exciting time to talk to an artist when it's like you are still defining yourself almost mm-hmm. in your sound. And I know whatever whatever you're going to do is going to be great. Right. I think you're one of them cats, Capella, that, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but you were going to win regardless if you were going to do music or not. Like, you must have been that dude in high school walking around. You know like, what I'm saying? Yeah, I was always doing some some form of music. You know what I'm saying? I was either the musician behind the scenes or singing. I was just doing something with music. So it's only made sense. So I'm just glad that I'm here. But, you know. Yeah, man. God bless. And you've been doing this since a young age, right? Facts. I've been a musician since I was like seven, eight. So. Wow. Wow. You're one of the few cats that you can put into a studio by themselves and leave the room. You know, I've always said, like, Prince, to me, is the most talented musician ever because he's one of the few that you can do that. You can leave Prince in a room with a gang of instruments. Mm. he give you a full album. Simple. I feel like you're in the same vein. Oh, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm definitely um, looking forward to proving that we're able to put together big bodies of work, too. Like, I really, I, I, the singles is cool, like Gallus and all these different moments and stuff, but I'm really trying to create the biggest moments in hip-hop history, so I want with my... My albums, I want to really change everything. Mm. I want to set tone for real. Like, I want to put together those type of things. So, and there's there's that. never been a better time now because Afro beats has crossed over into the U.S. market so well. Mm, Our music's already crossed there. Yeah, in fact, I'm not really an Afro beat artist. Not at like all, that, but, but you got the you're allowed to do Jamaican. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 I, feel I don't know if that makes sense. Like, even no, if no, Kendrick comes out and does something in a Jamaican tone, mm. you can find that like a appropriating but like you're not you're of jamaican descent That's a you're as bronx as it gets i see the bronx in you right. <laughs> yeah, i see the bx even the way you just said word is very <laughs> new york you know what i mean right. um so you grew up out there in the bronx you feel what i'm saying the bronx and then um in like my late teenage years i moved to mount vernon so like i got a credit just i guess that's why i gotta say uptown period because i grew mm-hmm. like i lived in co-op i lived at the 241st i lived in mount vernon new york so i got a jack westchester and uptown, so it's just really dope that I'm, because I was living everywhere and I moved everywhere uptown. Like I got to see mad different sides of things. So like it's. Uh, 
now you're very cultured. Very Absolutely. Cultured. And the Bronx got it's like a whole blend of mad different cultures in one. Like it's a vibe for real. Yeah, for real, for real. Now, I thought one thing was so interesting. So you signed to Capital under your own imprint, right? Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got a nice little JV joint yeah, venture. That's you know that with Alipac, the family and Capital. Well, Alipac, man, it's a beautiful thing because it. It, it takes a lot, it takes, you know, a big moment for you to be able to go to a label and basically be at the head of the table. Right. But after Gialis, man, it's like, shit, if I had the money, I would have signed you, dog, and given you all your masters and everything. And so yes, it's a beautiful thing. I think, you know, m- might have not been by design, but the fact that you blew up and went viral and dominated the music scene before you went to the table, right. that's awesome. That's I appreciate thing. I appreciate that. We're really just getting started, bro. I know. That's why it's so dope, because I'm watching everybody um, vibe to Gallus, how they are, and everybody celebrating this moment. That's really dope. And I'm like, yo, we, yeah, you got to really understand, Gallus is a minute and 45 second say, it's long a freestyle, freestyle Ultimately. with no hook, no, no bridge, hook. no nothing. verse, no nothing, just vibes. So it's like, watch when we really started clocking into like, the full songs and like the real, the albums and everything. These moments are going to be crazy. Crazy. So that's what I wanted to get into. The rest of, you know, when, when we get to debut albums, to, to more singles, should we expect more, you know, traditional song structure? Or... or no, nah, it's going to be it's gonna be mixes of both. Because, I mean, there's going to be the traditional songs, of course, with, like, the hook and the bridge and the yeah. verse and the, all that stuff like that. Man, sometimes I might just want to freestyle and just put it out because that was the mood for that month. Or that was the mood for just that whatever, whatever it is, that moment. Um, I just like to create based off of my vibe at the time. You know what I'm saying? Whatever works, whatever feels good, it's out. We out here. Oh, shit, man. I, I, I'm investing in your stock right now, bro. Mm-hmm. What, the way I see it, man, your stock is up 500% month over month, and it's shooting mm-hmm. to the fucking moon. Yes, sir. Just so Chris start. Brown, Pop Can, which Pop one did you know was going to be on the song first? Um, like, you know what I mean? Did it you was get so call? crazy because it was both around the same time. Like, really? They both, yeah, just about. Like they just reached out, just made it happen. That's why. I, that's what I love about um, the music scene in 2021. It's like the artist relation, artist relationships. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's they can DM you, so they hit you directly. Directly. Chris hit you and was like, "I want to." That was get it. On it was a conversation. That was wow. it. Boom, boom. What about Pop? Same thing. PopCon, same thing. You know what I'm saying? That's why it was dope. They reached out. Wow. That's how you that know. Yeah, that's how you know your shit. It really, like, there's two times of blowing up. There's, like, the industry pushed it and forced it to blow up. Mm -hmm. And then there's that real, raw, organic. Your shit was as organic as it gets. Organic, organic. It was just the city pushing it just with good vibe. New York City, I appreciate y'all again. Yeah, seen the video, man. Y'all, you had that area turned up. Mm -hmm. Just a couple hours notice. There wasn't no flyers or nothing. Wow. And it was at 2 p.m. on a Monday. Wow, and you got the city turned up like that. City was a movie. So what's next, man? Um, more singles. Talk nice. The next single that's dropping. Can't um, wait to hear God. that. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of vibes on the way. You're gonna see albums coming. Life of a Gallus, the short film. Um, wait, is Life of Life of a Gallus the album or the film? The short film. That's a short film. Mm-hmm. Okay. But the okay. album's on the way. Um, the Gallus remix. Obviously, the video. You know what I'm saying? It's about to about to shoot that and drop that soon. Yeah. There's big vibes on the way. I can't wait, man. I'm excited. Dash Radio's been had you in rotation. Regardless of you coming in here and chopping it up, we could have not put your record in rotation. You know what I mean? Well, I appreciate that that y'all was, you know what I'm saying, spinning it and supporting it before you even met me in person. You know Absolutely, so, man. But but really now we got some content to build around that and we we got you. We're we're ex- I'm excited personally and us as a company and the culture is excited for you, man. Yeah. Thank From you, Thank the you. Bronx to L.A. to Jamaica, man. Mm, yes, sir. We just getting hey, started hey, again. man. Everybody, this is Capella Gray. Yes, sir. Look, man, they're already going crazy out there. These people getting excited for you. Yeah. My yeah. guy. Yes, Gialis sir. in the house. Come on. I got to drop it one time to interview Wagwan. Yes, sir. Wagwan. Oh, we here. All right, everybody. We out. Peace.